At the time when the model was being developed, that is, in the late 90s, Land Rover belonged to BMW, so the SUV borrowed a number of components and parts from the 5th E39 and 7th E38 series of those years. Officially, at the start of sales, only a 4.4-liter V-shaped 8-cylinder M62 engine with a return of 286 horsepower was supplied to us. From BMW, diesel inline 6 M57 with a volume of 2.9 liters, 177 horsepower, from the same Bavarians was imported by gray dealers or the owners themselves, bypassing official suppliers. As you know, in 2000, Land Rover entered the family of the Ford Motor Company, becoming a relative of Jaguar. The Bavarian heritage was gradually getting rid of, and in the course of restyling, Range Rover lost both BAM engines. The base gasoline unit was the V-shaped 8AJ V8 from Jaguar with a capacity of 306 horsepower. Interestingly, the volume remained the same as it was, 4.4 liters. A version of the same AJ V8, but with a compressor and a slightly reduced cylinder diameter, which reduced the volume to 4.2 liters, already produced 396 horsepower. The German diesel engine was changed to a Ford 3.6-liter V8 of the AJD series, developed jointly with the French from Peugeot Citroën. In 2009, it was replaced by a 4.4-liter V8 of the same AJD series, and the 5-liter AJ133 V8 with 510 horsepower, familiar from the modern Range Rover, became the top-end gasoline engine. The third generation of the Jaguar AJ V8 series. Looking on the internet and looking for listings for sale, you might be surprised to see that the price of a used range starts at 400,000 rubles. Yes, these will be the cars of the first years and rather weak, but still the Range Rovers. Impeccable interior and appearance, low mileage, and all this for the price of Lada Granta. Very attractive, but let's not rush. In total, approximately 65% of cars on the market have gasoline engines and 35% are diesel engines. As we have said, most of the used Range Rover cars are equipped with a 4.4-liter gasoline engine in the form of a V-shaped 8 with 286 horses. The engine is traditionally inclined to eat up oil, the level of which must be monitored regularly. At least once every two years it is necessary to clean the throttle valve. All diesel engines are very sensitive to fuel quality. The weak point is the high-pressure fuel pump, which, due to poor diesel fuel, can die very quickly. On average, on our fuel, it can withstand about 100,000 to 120,000 kilometers. But it is enough to roll a full tank of low-quality diesel, and the pump is over. Officials say that the pump is not reparable, although, given a certain risk, you can try to sort it out at an independent specialized service. A silencer with good fuel, whether gasoline or diesel, can last up to 150,000 kilometers. All engines are equipped with a timing chain and change them only by stretching which usually happens by 150,000 to 200,000 kilometers. Transmission. As we said, the Range Rover has a lot of off-road capability. Downshifting and all-wheel drive, implemented through a torsion differential with an interaxle lock, are responsible for cross-country ability. There are no mechanical problems with these systems, but sometimes the electronics fail, which are discussed below. Since 2007, the terrain response system has appeared on the ranges, when the driver simply selects the type of road surface, and the system itself adjusts the suspension and transmission. Also, the car received an electronically controlled lock on the rear cross-axle differential. The lock motor used to die already in the first year of life. At the same time, the car lowered the air suspension to the lower position, and malfunction lamps of various systems were lit on the instrument panel. The motor itself, according to the officials, again needs to be changed as an assembly. In all years, the Range Rover was equipped with ZF Automatics. Until 2005, it was a 5-speed version of the ZF5 HP22 and ZF5 HP24. Then, after switching to Ford engines, there was a 6-speed ZF6 HP26. And from 2010 to 2012, an 8-speed automatic transmission was already on the 4.4-liter V8 turbo diesel. It makes sense to change the oil in this box every 50,000 kilometers and renew the lubricant in the transfer case at the same interval. Suspension. All cars have non-alternative air suspension. Although cars on conventional springs are rare, the owners carried out such tuning on their own. The air suspension itself is generally more reliable than on German classmates, and air bellows, with careful handling, 
can easily cross the line of 150,000 kilometers. But in order to achieve this result, one must not forget to regularly rinse the cylinders from sand and salt, especially in winter. The weak point of the suspension is the body position sensors, which are located on each rack. Fortunately, they are inexpensive. The suspension itself consists of two arms on each wheel, and they can travel up to 200,000 kilometers. Although the hubs may require replacement as early as 50,000 kilometers. Steering. But problems with the steering rack can be very serious, since by 100,000 kilometers it may already begin to knock, and by 150,000 kilometers it may even require replacement. It is not regulated and cannot be repaired by authorized dealers. And it is necessary to mention the cruel joke that the soundproofing of the cabin plays with the owners and which the owners write about on the forms. Since extraneous noise from the outside rarely penetrates the car, owners often do not hear knocks and hums coming from suspension components that need to be replaced. Periodically roll down the windows and listen for extraneous sounds. Body and interior. The body of the Range Rover is partially aluminum. Rust can be found only on the bottom and in inconspicuous places, but in general, the British have always been good with the quality of body metal processing, and problems should not arise. But relying on the eternity of aluminum is not worth it. After an accident, body parts change entirely and cannot be straightened. And if the craftsmen were illiterate and used, say, copper or brass rivets during assembly, then because of them, the aluminum part simply crumbles and collapses over time. There are no complaints about the salon. Although the leather is a fine manufacture, it is quite durable and you can hardly hear squeaks and crickets in the cabin. Electrical Equipment Range Rover owners have enough problems with electrical equipment, for whom the car does not lower from the upper position, for whom the onboard computer screen does not work, someone complains about a failed air conditioner or an inoperative interaxle lock. Almost always, it is not the note itself that is to blame for these breakdowns, but some kind of electronic unit that was responsible for its control. There are no obvious weak points, but anything can fail. Sometimes problems were solved by a simple flashing, but often it was necessary to change the blocks completely. Therefore, before buying, it is mandatory to diagnose all errors. Moreover, it is possible to repair at specialized independent service stations. Due to the high demand for repairs, quite a lot of qualified services have appeared, but it's better to be diagnosed by dealers. There, whatever one may say, the most modern equipment, and the history of service can be studied. The cost of maintenance at official dealers. MOT at Range Rover has an unusual schedule, every 12,000 kilometers, but the list of all works is almost always the same. Everything is complicated with Land Rover maintenance prices, they vary from dealer to dealer. We studied the work orders that the owners post on the internet and found that many of the work was carried out on the recommendations of dealers ahead of the allotted regulations, and the prices for the same parts often differ. Although Land Rover's standard hour is relatively cheap, 1,500 rubles, the maintenance itself is very expensive. And do not forget when comparing prices with unofficial services that dealers often offer discounts on work for non-warranty cars in the amount of up to 40% and 10-15% to on spare parts. A used third-generation Range Rover is a controversial car. On the one hand, its components and assemblies are generally reliable and, with proper maintenance, will last longer than those of competitors. On the other hand, even simple maintenance will cost a decent amount, not to mention unscheduled maintenance. Many spare parts are very expensive and do not always have cheap counterparts. Also remember that due to the fall in the value of the ruble, the price has increased not only for new cars, but also for new spare parts. In addition, many jobs can only be done at a branded or specialized station, especially electrical and electronic work. In a multi-brand unofficial service, due to the unprofessionalism of the masters, the problem can only be aggravated. And keep in mind that Land Rover is one of the most stolen brands in our country, and especially the large and prestigious Range Rover. In addition, Range Rover often twists mileage, so choose a car with your head and discard emotions. If on a 10-year-old car 100,000 kilometers of run, this is an occasion for a good check. If the owner hides the mileage, what else can he hide? According to the assurances of the masters, a more or less reliable car will not be sold for less than 1 million rubles, therefore, no matter how attractive the cars with the Ford Focus price are, it is better to bypass them. We recommend opting for a copy no younger than 2007 with a 3.6 TDI engine. 
As you understand, the range of prices for the third range is very large and the range from 500,000 rubles to 2.5 million allows you to choose almost any car. So, you can buy a business sedan of a democratic brand in a very good configuration. 